base have been very stimulating. Uh, this is the first time I came here. In fact, I think I should have come here much earlier in this uh, conference. Good discussions. A lot of uh, discussions on innovation. We all talk about here about uh, colleague uh, Dr. Rasik also mentioned. I think uh, he took away my byline. You know, as I mentioned, the patients have no color, no geography. They exist every year. We call it drug discovery, development. You know, we're talking about business. We're talking about revenues. But I think on top is the patient. All the people, whether from academia, from the industry, I think they are, it's a very noble cause. People are, you know, working here. The moment you discover and develop a drug, it saves lives. And I don't think there is any mission more noble than working towards saving lives and improving the quality of lives. And if any drug comes out of this collaborative research, as I call it, it is not for US or for India. It will be for everyone throughout the world. So, friends, it's good to talk about discovery, development. We have been talking about innovation clusters, the ecosystem. Where do we stand now? I keep asking, and you know, we are very intelligent. Uh, we have excellent institutions here. We are going to invest a lot of money, a lot of funds, resources into building capacity, educational institutions. But we have yet to commercialize one single molecule in this country. I hope we get it done at least in this decade, in the next coming years. Uh, the interest is there amongst the stakeholders. But to do this, I think we need to put certain things in place. It can't be done by the government alone. It can't be done by the industry alone. The risk factor is very, very high. It's too expensive. Uh, as I say that, you know, it's uh, you have a better chance of winning in a casino in Las Vegas than putting money to drug discovery and getting a drug to the market. I mentioned the morning also, it's our last year, I think about $100 billion were spent on drug discovery and development worldwide. It's a huge money and only about 20 drugs were approved by FDA. You can see the risk, how risky it is. 70% of this figure goes towards drug development. But promise when we met in November, we had a strategy session in Delhi. Uh, he said, I am a non-pharma, non-biotech person, but you have succeeded throughout in you know, various verticals you have been handling at the DST. 